Are you baking for business and you're finding that you're having a lot of challenges during these times of inflation? This video is for you. In this video, I'll be sharing three tips to help you survive these inflation times without closing your baking business. Hi everyone, this is Maureen Kamari, founder of Amari Baking Center and author of How to Start Up a Small Baking Business. In this channel, I share tips on how to start and grow a home baking business or a small bakery business shop. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. So the first tip I want to share is for you to buy in bulk. Make sure you're buying your cake or pastry ingredients in bulk and what this is going to help you do is sort of manage your cost. You might find that maybe every week or even every month you're finding that wheat flour or sugar or cooking oil prices are increasing every month. And so what you want to do is kind of slow that down in your business so that when you buy in bulk, like maybe buy a bale of flour or you buy a 50 kg bag of flour, it kind of slows down that price increase in your business. This is going to help you with this fluctuation fluctuating prices when it comes to your own pricing for your pastries or your cakes. Now when it comes to buying in bulk, it might need a little bit more financial resources, but it's better to actually save and buy in bulk, even if it's each month choosing two ingredients to just buy in bulk so you're able to actually slow down that fluctuation of pricing. The second thing I want to tell you is to start selling smaller offers. If you're a baker who doesn't already do this, you need to start this ASAP. And I've actually shared this training in our community group about having SOS offers. That's having a small offer strategy. This is when you start focusing on offering smaller offers, whether it's mini cakes or maybe doing frosted cupcakes or doing just smaller pieces of your pastries or your cakes that move faster and you're able to sell them. What happens is that when it comes to the larger cakes, maybe people are not buying them as much because even the consumers are feeling the pinch of inflation. So if you have smaller offers that cost a little less, you just need to focus on moving a lot of numbers and you're able to sell that. That might help you increase sales in your baking business instead of stagnation. Before I get to my third point, I want to share with you guys that we have a free training running for the next few weeks that's going to be for home bakers and small bakery shop owners looking to know how to manage their sales, increase them during these tough times. If you're interested in something like that, make sure you check the link in description for more details on how to join. The third tip is for you to reduce your costs. So you need to look at your business and see what costs can you reduce. It depends on whether those activities actually bring you sales or there's something you can actually downsize. So for example, if you're paying yourself full time and maybe you can reduce them to like part time or freelancer, you should consider doing that. The second thing you consider is your marketing. Do you have marketing activities that don't always um, translate to sales? Maybe you can cut down on some of those expenses so you're able to reduce sales. Another thing you can do is consolidate expenses. For example, if you buy things every week, that's a cost. So instead of buying things every week, you can choose to do one bulk buy like once a month or twice a month to kind of consolidate that expense so it's a little bit cheaper for you. So you need to look at different things like this to see how you can reduce expenses. Another thing you can consider is if you have a shop and you're paying rent and you've realized maybe for the last six to eight months, your business has not been able to pay the rent and the expenses for that premise, what you can choose to do is maybe downsize and become a home baker for a period of time as you figure out how to get another shop maybe by next year. So just kind of look at those expenses you have that you can downsize or reduce and do that. So to recap, three ways for you to make sure your baking business survives during this inflation economy. Number one, make sure you're buying your ingredients in bulk. Number two, sell smaller offers. And number three, make sure you reduce your expenses. So I hope these tips have really been helpful to you. If they have, please make sure to leave a comment. If you're interested in the free training, check the link in the description to get more details on that, and I'll see you guys next time.